Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another episode of Fire Emblem 3 Houses. Previous episode, I had to deal with a hour long episode as you notice. I apologize for not saving in back to my personal quarters, which I pretty much did off screen, but you know, the video was a little, was an hour long and I wanted to keep it before that time duration, so please understand. Other than that, here we are, back to my personal dorm, and as before, as I promised in the previous Let's Read, we are going to end the day and move forward, so let's get on with it, shall we? Have you not been told what's expected from lectures here? Well. I can tell you how it works based on what I've heard from other professors. When you instruct your students, they gain skill experience. As their skill levels increase, they will gain access to new abilities in combat arts. The number of people you can instruct is indicated by your activity points at the top of your screen. When you set up a group task, the students you assign will continue the task until you change it. After the first round of instruction each month, your students may come to you with a question. They will be motivated if they like your answer. Before starting a lecture, it's a good idea to determine everyone's academic goals. Students will want to prioritize studying things that will help them achieve their aim. Students study on their own to earn skill experience according to their skill goals. Results are reported at the end of each week. You can alter students' goals at any time using the goals menu. It's probably easier to get good results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. Of course, that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach someone things unrelated to their personal goals as well. By looking beyond their preferences, some students may find they're interested in fields they've never previously considered. A three-star mark next to the skill indicates that you will unlock a budding talent after a certain amount of instructing. Once you unlock a budding talent, that person will go on to excel in that particular skill. They may even learn a new ability or combat art. A student's goals may change based on their studies or the experience they gain while on missions. When that happens, perhaps you could help them decide what new goals they should set for themselves. As students improve from instructing and personal study, they may approach you with the suggestions for new goals. Whether to accept their suggestion or not is completely up to you. Feel free to guide your students along paths of your own choosing. How motivated a student is will affect how well your tutoring goes. To help cultivate their motivation, I think it's a good idea to interact with your students as much as possible. Please try your best to motivate everyone so that they in turn will try hard with their assignments and activities. You can instruct students with a high motivation more frequently. One way to increase motivation is to interact with your students around the monastery. At the Officers' Academy, students are encouraged to engage in various activities in and around the monastery. If you instruct your students to work together as a team, it will help to deepen their bonds and produce better results. You can assign one group task each week. Students who take part will earn skill experience based on your choice. You can also get gold and resources by completing these tasks. The result of the group task will depend on the students' strengths, weaknesses, and infinity for one another. Have you heard about the certification exams? They take place every month. Everyone here is working hard to become a certain type of soldier. And those tests are how you can check to see how far we've come. 
In order to pass the exam, you need to train enough to become whatever class you're aiming for. Take care to develop your students strategically so that they can pass their certification exams. When you pass a certification exam, you can change to a new class. Benefits of higher tier classes include increased stats and growth rates. Alright, time to teach the kids today. Let's get on with it. Let's go to instruction first. Now, just like the game suggested, you would want to instruct your units that has the high motivation. As you can tell, the rating art, for example, she has max motivation. Let's start off with her first. And as you can see here, as the game said, what they favor in strength and specific weapon skill. So, I think the first choice I'm going to do with Edelgard, let's go with Axis for starters. I still have much to learn. Oh, and yes, um, well, actually, I'll save that until we're done instructing Edelgard. Let's go with armor next. Let's go with sword. Let's go with so I'm sure you notice that the results for clicking, not clicking, excuse me, for choosing, rather, the little skill to teach your students it has like a little RNG with luck mechanic. We're good, slightly increases, uh, great, significantly increases. Well, maybe significantly is not the right word, but you know what I mean. There is another um, RNG result that I think it's perfect after great. Well, let's see if it, if happens to Hubert or the other here. Let's see, Hubert, you favor magic, of course. So let's do that. You also favor authority. Nice. Your instruction has been beneficial. Oh, not only that, as you can see, that also increases their support level between you and them. Alright, let's go on with Dorothea next. Uh, as you can tell, she favors magic. I appreciate your coaching, Professor. Appreciate your coaching, Professor. There you go. Um, let's see, what's the next thing we could do here? You could also auto instruct um, if you don't want, if you don't feel like instruct manually, of course. <laughs> but most of the time, I never use the auto instruct mechanic. So let's go on to group task next. Stable duty or together. Clean the stables and feed the horses. Races and riding skills. Weeding. Work together with the monastery of weeds. Raise we heavy armor skills. Skywatch. Work together to secure the skies. Raises flying skills. Hmm. Let's see what I want to do for starters. Let's go with Weeding first. Well, Edelgard also favors the armor skill, so pretty strange that it's not highlighted that she favors it. Let's give it a go between her and Bernadette. Let's see how this goes. Excellent. And the goals? 
like the game said, you could alter or switch up what your unit's goals are. But for now, we're going to leave this be. Figured I'd just do this for a little show-offs here. Let's go begin the lecture. I've got a question. Whenever I send money to food to my mother, she insists she doesn't need any of it. How do I make her happy? Hmm. Deliver them personally. <laughs> ah, that makes sense. Neat. Ooh, almost there. Well. I'm a believer. Believe it or not. Big on the goddess. Crazy about her. What do you think about me studying faith and brawling at the same time? So I can show my devotion with my fists. Take the goals, focus on acts and bra brawling skills too. Or switch over to focus on brawling and faith skill to excel a war monk. Hmm. Well, you are the type to use your fist, so it does make sense. So let's go with it. Let's finish this quickly. Oh no, this is impossible. We did it. Good results, I'll take it. Let's see how everyone do. I'm getting the hang of this. Well, it's a start. Alright. Here we are, back to the dorms. Or my personal dorms, rather. Seems like our only option here is to battle. So, let's get in there. Auxiliary battles. Auxiliary battles are now available. How often you battle is limited by your activity points indicated at the top of the screen. On normal difficulty, some auxiliary battles will not cost activity points. Spirits of the Fallen. If you head into battle playing while playing online, you may see the spirits of those who perish on other players' fields. Battlefields, excuse me. They are, they are more likely to appear in places where death are frequent. Spirits that appear in the shade indicate to an area where many enemy units have fallen. You can collect items that were dropped by the Vanquish. Spirits that appear in the shade indicated an area where many allied units were lost. They can impart blessings such experience or restored equipment durability. Right, so this is another reason why I chose normal difficulty at first, because I do recall that if you played this game on higher difficulty, you're quite limited of doing free auxiliary battles that doesn't cost you activity points. Just for my, my main re reason ultimately is to show off um, variety, so I don't have to be worried about being so limited, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's start off with the practice battle. Let's get in there, shall we? In battle, it's necessary to deploy battalions so that students can experience taking command. I doubt I need to say this to a mercenary like you, but if you have any questions about how to use your soldiers, please, don't hesitate to ask. After you hire a battalion, you'll need to decide who will lead them. Battalions can contain soldiers like mages and monks who don't fight with weapons. Be sure to think carefully about who would benefit most from the support of battalion soldiers and their specific skills. 
Use the inventory menu to assign battalions to your units, granting them increased stats like attack or hit rate. These stats will grow further as the battalion gains experience fighting alongside you. When you deploy a battalion, you can utilize its special gambit in battle. If a gambit is successful, your enemy will be severely shaken. Units hit by gambits will be rattled. Rattled units could not move, use gambits, or benefit from battalions, and suffer a 10% penalty up to all stats. Joining forces with a nearby ally is a surefire way to enhance your effectiveness. When a gambit is used on an enemy within the attack range of one more or more of your other units, it will become a gambit boost. The might and hit rate of the gambit will increase based on the number of units participating and their support levels. Sounds promising. Now here we are in the auxiliary practice battle. So I'm gonna go ahead and make preparations. So I'll see you there. set to go as the way it should be by default. So oh, there's no need to mess around this too much. Okay, let's go see what I'm dealing with here. There's the boss in here. Oh yes some money apparently. Okay. Seems like they're mostly just glancemen. Alright. Let's get this started, shall we? I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Stay focused. Prevail. Put me in there. something next to one of the fallen. Nice, healing item. Um, oh, we need to get this. Oh here. no. As you wish. Hmm. Why don't I put myself up here? That's my cue. Go here next to me. How sweet! That rally skill up. Since this is an auxiliary battle, I guess one of the options. So, mostly when it comes to the enemy train, you're not going to see their attack animations much. But you will see mine, however. Uh, it's usually the units we haven't yet to see in action yet. So, Caspar. 
Ooh, yikes. I expect. Mm. At least you got some defense. Let's not move you yet. Let's move you forward. Ooh. 77. Oh, 23 crit. That sounds promising. My heart is full of victory. Hmm. No, we need to get cast bars in XP, so let's do that now. Then later. Hubert. Um, move Ferdinand over here really quick. Oops. Sorry about that. I think. Vision of an ally falling in battle. It feels like this place is under some sort of protection. 
Oh, D. I still have a long way to go. She did accept that level up. We covered one game first. So yes, you want to get those get these little spirits more often. That's if you enable online play for this game. Okay, um that's how you get the kill. Well actually hold on a second. Kills. Not what I wanted though. I don't know if you, much I can do. Oh, I could use the gambit. Yeah, how about we show off the gambit now? Let's get it. Perfect. Well, if this actually hits. Let's group up really quick. Just to be safe. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. You can totally go through over there. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure this will work. Lyris at 60%. That's what I'm more concerned about. I do gotta show the soft at these points. Let's do it. Now's our chance. Oh! Okay. I'll accept that. Now. See you in action. You are not. Oh, 
many skills, you know. Cool. Move forward over here. Move forward. I start moving. So about these auxiliary battles, um, if I didn't mention it before, I'll mention it again. You can mostly do these auxiliary battles to grind XP and gold, etc. Which I will most likely do when the opportunity comes in this game as I progress forward. But I'll do them off screen. I'm probably you know, probably going to show this at least. Well, excuse me. This may be the only time I will show this off. Uh, since those guys are coming, we gotta hike back to the forest. Let's do that. Get Hubert out of there because they're all targeting Hubert. Yikes. <laughs> Must be awful losing to me. guys. Back to the fray. Okay, let's see what happens. Next. Oh, the boss unit starts moving. Huh, that was nothing. approaching my way. It's best to stay in the forest for now. I do want to learn some edge for myself, so... Oh yeah, it's not, not like that, though. Hmm. I want you to hit Constance, that's for sure. This up for both the uh... <laughs> when it's always nice. Ooh, the boss is going after her in. Let's risk it. Oh man, these guys are all going out for an apparently. Well, in that case, um, let's do a little trick here. Oh, 
should take the hit. She did get some boost on the defense. Take the hits or possibly dodge it. Don't you think? Although magic is useless for you, <laughs> just so you know. Oh, I guess still gotta get this spirit here. Hmm. It's still raring to go. You'll be fine, Caspar. <laughs> Let's 
Flame Spirit protect me. I am greater now. have thorns. Well, like what you see? I sure do. Give me that money. Sleeping this whole time. Oh, you could use some speed, though. This can't be right. Mm. Strength and skill is not bad, though. Okay, let's go grab this. Training Gauntlet's plus. Ooh, pretty nice. Put me in there. Oh. 
against him. You were wide open. Not quite what I was after. Dexterity for the pick pick dumb, so that's not bad. And we're done. That concludes the practice battle. Caspar got the MVP. Renown increase. Well, I had fun today. Of course. You want to see me again, yes? Uh, of course. I'd love to, Dorothea. <laughs> well, until we meet again. Oh, hello, Professor. Were you watching that? You look like you have something to say, Professor. Look, I know what I'm doing. My claim as a diva won't last forever, after all. I must look to the future. You might think about doing the same thing. Your beauty, and your gorgeous, won't last forever. <laughs> well, ain't that the truth, <laughs> y'all? Feel anxiety about me. <laughs> You? Really? I never would have guessed. Anyway, I'm not just playing games with these boys. This is for my future. You have no right to object. I very much want to find a good partner here at the Academy. Someone who will take care of me for the rest of my life. Is that really what you want? Finding someone to take care of me? <laughs> of course it is. Who could ask for anything more? Anyway, I value your opinion, Professor, but I won't have you interfering with my life plans. Unless you'd like to take care of me into my old age. That'd be something, eh? How about it, Professor? Oh, sure, okay. I wasn't... <laughs> you aren't being serious, are you? I was just teasing. Or did you really just consider spending your whole life with me? The thought hadn't crossed my mind before, but come to think of it, that might sound pretty nice. You've gotten awfully quiet. You might even be blushing a bit. Have I embarrassed you? If so, I'm very, very sorry. I should be going anyway. I'll see you later, Professor. <laughs> See you later indeed, Dorothea. Well, there you have it. Support levels now see between me and her. And the motivation has also increased. Alright. I believe... Well, excuse me for that phone notification. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I believe that will be enough for today's video. Because I'm looking at the time. It's already an hour. <laughs> so I gotta cut some parts here and there for this this video obviously but man um I was not expecting to get a support um conversation with Dorothea there that's pretty neat I get to show that off very early in the game other than that um there was another lecture session to go through or instruction session rather and after that obviously I'm gonna do um, cut that part out, but the results of everyone's skill level, well, I would rather say mostly every student that I have uh, that's studying under me, if that makes any sense, most of them got a skill level up, which I'm pretty proud of, but unfortunately you won't be seeing that, but you're going to have to take my word for it. Like I said um, earlier, if I didn't already, I'll say it now. Um, I won't be showing off the instruction and auxiliary battle session sequences that much on screen. I'll do most of those off screen. But when it comes, well, maybe the instructions, maybe I'll show it off a little bit, but don't take my word for it. 
Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. We will continue this next time. Until then, take care, and I will see you in the next episode. Well, actually, there's another support that I'm notified here, but we'll show that off next time, if that's okay with you. Anyway, see you in the next episode.